Welcome to another episode of Soul Align Success. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about why the process of selling and sales is sacred. So this goes out to all the spiritual entrepreneurs that are starting a business or already running a business yet have a hang up around sales. So this is an issue if you're trying to run a business, if you don't feel comfortable and confident in receiving monetary compensation for your value and your transformation and your programs and your services. I think you can agree that if you're running a business, you have to actually generate revenue. But what I see happening a lot with spiritual entrepreneurs is they operate from a very lack mindset and they're still operating from this place of um, undervaluing their services and undervaluing their own worth for some reason. So they're not showing up confidently and presenting their program as an opportunity for others to invest in themselves. And so this is the first mindset shift because what I see a lot of spiritual entrepreneurs will see uh, receiving money for their services as if they're taking from somebody, right? And this is not the case. When someone invests in your program and services, they are investing in themselves through you and they are using you as the vehicle to get the results that they're looking for. So this is, you know, I, I've worked with many coaches and mentors and masterminds over the course of my journey. And every time I invest in one of these programs or courses or whatever, I'm investing in myself. They are the vehicle in which I'm allowing myself to get the transformation that I am seeking, okay? And for people that are ready to do the work, that's how they're going to view it. But if you show up and you're not fully confident of the value and the services and the transformation that you bring to the table, and you're not presenting that as an opportunity, what that's doing is sabotaging the mission that you're on to help as many people as possible because you're not showing up and allowing this opportunity to be taken advantage of, but you're also denying them the opportunity to invest in themselves through you so that they can get the transformation. Right? So this all rests on the fact that it's a mutual fit for both of you and you already know that you can get the transformation for them that they're seeking because you've gotten it for yourself and or other clients and so you're confident on that. So I want you to reframe this. If I can't sell you, I can't serve you. Because how many times have you had people hop on your calls and you know you can get the transformation and you know that they're a perfect fit for the program or the services that you offer and you know this, but they start to backpedal on the sales call because all of their fears coming up because they know that by actually moving forward with your transformational program, they're going to get out of their comfort zone. Things are going to change. They're going to have to look at things that they normally don't look at. They're going to be held accountable. Any weird, funky money stories are coming up. Uh, you know, all of these things, you know, start to come up. All of the sabotaging voices start to come up. And in that moment when that person is allowing they're going back and forth between their intuitive guidance and the fear that's popping up the intuitive guidance and the all the logical reasons well maybe this isn't the right time or maybe i should wait or maybe it'd be better i start in three months or maybe i shouldn't spend the money or blah 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 and all of that stuff right is popping up yet they're intuitively guided and their soul's telling them yes and now their mind is in the way coming up with all of the fear-based reasons to say no even you know that the program is perfect for them and assuming it feels like a mutual fit, by you not showing up confidently, energetically in alignment with your program and offering it for, for sale as an opportunity to work with them and being open to receive what you're doing and ask and, and holding their feet to the fire even through the fear so that they can recognize their own sabotaging patterns. If you're not doing that, then what you're doing is you're leaving them hanging. And this is why the sales process is very sacred because what you already know that you can get someone an aha moment or a breakthrough on a coaching call, let's say, on a strategy session, one of your initial sessions, but you know that that's not the same as a transformation and that 
right then and there in that moment, this is where you need to be energetically on board with your own services and the transformation that you offer because what they are buying is your energy, your confidence that you can help get them the result that they are looking for. And if you can't show up and talk about your programs, promote your programs, and you don't believe that it's the best thing ever for the person that is the ideal fit for that, then that's something that you need to really recognize and get your energy behind it because what you are doing is sacred work. What you are doing is divinely guided. What you are doing is helping to uplift or heal the masses and humanity through each individual person that you serve. And it is of high, high value and it is desperately, desperately needed. And so if you continue to let your lack mindset or your money hang up stories around receiving block you from allowing yourself to, to um, be open to receive and present your, your services as a way for them to invest in themselves, then you're doing a disservice not only to you, but also to them. And at the end of the day, it doesn't serve your mission.